Welcome back guys. Now in this video, let's discuss about bile. Now bile is made up of which substances? So they can ask you in the exam something like this, all of the following substances are present in the bile except. So bile is something which is getting synthesized in the liver and it consists of bile acids, bile salts, bile pigments, cholesterol, water and electrolytes. All these things are present inside the bile. Okay. Now. I have already taught you where bile is getting produced. Bile is getting produced in the liver. How much amount of bile is getting produced every day? 500 ml. Okay, 500 ml, not liters. It's a 500 ml per day. Now, where bile is getting stored? All of you guys know it. Bile is getting stored inside the gallbladder. Okay, gallbladder is a place where bile is getting stored. Now, see, bile does not have any lipases. It does not have any amylases. Or it does not have any proteases. So, bile do not have any digestive enzymes okay, it does not have any digestive enzymes then what is the role of bile how, what is the role of these bile acids how they are going to helpful for us in the process of digestion see please look at this image i am asking you one question whenever you mix oil with water will they ever mix or not whenever you pour oil into the water will they ever mix they will not mix why I am saying this, why I am giving this analogy is because even fats, whatever the fats you are taking, just compare them with the oils. And whatever the lipases which are getting produced in your body, compare them with your, compare them with this water. So, the fats, whatever you are taking, they are not going to mix with the lipases. Why? Because they are totally two different kind of substances. They will not mix. They are just like a oil and water. If they are not mixing, Will digestion happens? Will lipases can break down the lipids? No. Now what our bile is going to do? Bile is just acting like a soap. Whenever you put little amount of detergent or soap into this water glass, what will happen immediately? Water and oil is going to mix. This process is called as emulsification. So bile is going to act like a soap. Now the bile whatever is coming from the gallbladder, it is going to do a process called as emulsification. In emulsification, what's happening? The large, large lipid droplets, which are not mixing with the water, now they are going to be chopped down into small, small lipid droplets. Now, such a small, small lipid droplets can be easily mixed with the lipases. So, what exactly is emulsification? During emulsification, a large lipid droplet is getting converted into small droplets with the help of bile and this process is called as emulsification. So through emulsification, now these fats can be easily digested. The lipases can easily act on them and there is digestion of lipids. Okay, guys, here I want you to understand a few important points. What is that? See, this is the liver. Now we, are, now we are talking about the bile salts and bile acids. What are these bile acids? They are almost one and the same. See, in your liver, cholesterol is there. Now this cholesterol is getting converted into primary bile acids. And now this primary bile acids, they will be again converted into secondary bile acids. Okay. You are having first cholesterol is getting converted into primary bile acids. What is the example of primary bile acids? Chenodeoxycholic acid and cholic acid. So, chenodeoxycholic and cholic acids are the primary bile acids. Now, these primary bile acids are going to convert it into secondary bile acids. Now, what are the examples of secondary bile acids? Deoxycholic, ac deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acid. These are secondary bile acids. Now, why I am, why I am specifically talking about these bile acids? is because the bile acids are the real ones which helps in the process of emulsification. And from where bile acids are getting synthesized? Bile acids are coming from cholesterol. Cholesterol. Now, we will see what happens. See, the bile is coming from the liver. It is getting stored in the gallbladder. Now, this bile, it is coming into the duodenum. In the duodenum, what our bile will do, especially the bile acids, what our bile acids will do? Bile acids helps in the process of emulsification. Emulsification is done. Lipid digestion is done. Now, these bile acids are very important substances for our body. Now, what happens? These bile acids, whenever they reach the ileum, now from the ileum, these bile acids are getting reabsorbed back into the enteric circulation. Okay, they are getting reabsorbed back. This is known as enterohepatic 
circulation okay the bile acids are getting reabsorbed and all these bile acids are taken back to the liver so from the intestine to the liver entero hepatic circulation so the bile acids are getting reabsorbed via entero hepatic circulation so you are not losing any bile acids normally okay now let's talk about a person who is having hyperlipidemia he is having hyperlipidemia he is having so much amount of cholesterol in his body hypercholesterolemia now how we can decrease the cholesterol in this person for example if you inhibit if you inhibit this intrahepatic circulation intrahepatic reuptake now what will happen all the bile acids are going to be lost in the feces if you are losing all the bile acids in the feces now liver have to newly produce the bile acids now liver have to take the new cholesterol and this cholesterol means cholesterol is getting used up cholesterol will be converted into bile acids again these bile acids are losing in the feces so every time this bile acid newly produced bile acids which are coming from the cholesterol is losing in the feces it simply looks like you are losing the cholesterol so how we can treat hypertriglyceridemia hypercholesterolemia hyperlipidemia by using this concept by using a drugs called as bile acid binding agents now what are these bile acid binding agents these bile acid binding agents inhibit the intrahepatic circulation they will bind with the bile acids see these drugs cholestramine cholestipol colthilsam see colsivalam all these drugs they will bind with the bile acids and they will take the bile acids out of the body so there is no intrahepatic reuptake okay so bile acid binding drugs or bile acid binding agents which are called as baba agents can be used in treating of hyperlipidemias example sir cholestramine cholestipol and colsivalam now let's talk about what exactly is a cholagog and cholerectic guys cholagog we have already discussed cholagog is nothing but cholecystokinin from where cholecystokinin is coming cholecystokinin is some, something coming from the eye cells cholecystokinin pancreas i mean cholecystokinin is coming from the eye cells what is the stimulus for the release of cholecystokinin fat rich food whenever there is a fat rich food cholecystokinin is going to come out of the eye cells now this cholecystokinin will go and helps the contraction of gall bladder so cholagog is such a substance which helps in contraction of gall bladder okay cholagog means the substance which is causing contraction of gall bladder okay now what is cholerectic then cholerectics are the substances which helps in production of bile which increases the concentration of bile so cholerectic is something bile production cholagog is something bile release okay these are some important terminologies which you need to know now let's see we have discussed about the bile acids now this bile is also having something called as a bile pigment right now what is this bile pigment and from where we get this bile pigment bile pigment is a product of heme metabolism now i am going to ask you one question what exactly is a heme we all have rbcs right we all have rbcs inside the rbcs what is the protein present we are having hemoglobin okay hemo plus globin now what is this heme what is this heme heme is nothing but heme is made up of iron plus protoporphyrin globin is a protein now after 120 days this rbcs are going to be destroyed right yes hemoglobin will also be destroyed now globin is going globin is a protein which is like you know destroyed amino acids are released and amino acids are used again for the production of new new proteins now whenever this heme is metabolized the metabolized product of heme is nothing but the bile pigments okay like bile rubin bile verdin like you know bile rubin bile verdin these are the bile pigments now these bile pigments are also coming to the bile and getting stored inside the bile so what i'm saying is bile not only helps in the like you know process of emulsification like you know the bile acids not only help in the product in the emulsification of fats now bile also plays a role in excretion of this bile pigment bile rubin bile pigment which is nothing but a degradation product of heme metabolism okay guys we have discussed all the important points regarding bile if you know this this is much more than enough for your exams now in the next video let's discuss about the intestinal secretions and how digestion will happens in the intestine thank you